the Warm Hill Parish. The main entrance is closed and only opens on Sundays. I've got to use the side entrance. Good afternoon. Have you time for a little talk? I never hurry anywhere, unlike everyone else around here. I'm interested in learning about the parish and this cemetery. I think you're the right man to ask. Maybe. I've been helping Father Frederick for many years now. I know the names on all the graves. What do you want to know? You said you have known Father Frederick for many years. What can you tell me about him? Father Frederick is the best man I know. He took me in when I was orphaned and raised me as his son. For that I will be grateful to him for the rest of my life. And I will be around to help him as long as I am able to. But if you want to talk to him you will have to wait until he returns from the neighboring manor. I see. Thanks. Tell me, what is your name actually? Mine? No one calls me anything other than Gravedigger. Father Frederick's Gravedigger. And I don't mind if you have questions about it, it's true anyway. And you are a Gordon, right? Yes, Samuel Gordon. So you're the grandson of old Mr. William? Yes. I saw you at the funeral. Of course. Did you know William? No, not personally. I would see him from time to time, though. He used to go inside the church. How often? Not that often, but when he did show up, he was always in a hurry, as if he knew he didn't have much time left. Did he ever speak with you? No, I told you I did not know him well. But he would speak with Father Frederick, wouldn't he? You will have to ask Father that yourself. I will. Thanks. Tell me, how old is this parish? No one knows how old exactly, but this cemetery and church are much older than anything in the neighborhood. A long time ago, they used to bury heretics here. They say there's a system of corridors under the cemetery where the souls of the innocent wander looking for a way out. You know, I've seen quite a lot all these years here, but... For instance? Well, it was a long time ago, but some years back I heard something like the voice of a child in the distance. It was moaning and singing verses. At first I thought it was just an illusion, but then I could no longer contain my curiosity and went outside to have a look. I followed the sound of the voice, but the closer I got, the less audible the voice became. Maybe it was just a child playing nearby. Two hours after midnight? I don't think so. Plus, look around. There are graves far and wide. Hmm. But that's past now. I have no idea what it was and I do not want to know. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Have you heard the voice again or anything similar? I've already told you enough. Don't tell anyone about this. I don't want to look like an old fool. I've heard that you sometimes saw William come to the vicarage late at night. Is that true? Who told you that? That's not important. So is it true? I don't care to talk about it. I don't want to look for problems. Whatever you tell me will stay just between us. It's not like I think I can trust you, but since you're a Gordon, I'll tell you what I've seen. 
Everyone who knew old Sir William thought he was a bit of a madman. Please don't get offended. And later, when he refused to see anyone, the gossip began floating about. I'm telling you this so that you know I'm not making up what I'm going to tell you next. Go on. I first saw him here some six months ago. I was sitting in my cabin, about to go to bed. I saw a light. It was someone approaching the church. In the twenty years that I've been working here, no one has ever come here this late. So I went outside to check out what was going on. I saw a figure concealed in a dark coat walking among the graves. He was looking for something, his head down to the ground. Was it William? At that moment I had no idea who it was. I couldn't see his face in the darkness. He spent some twenty minutes there, going round, mumbling something. What was he saying? Well, I observed him from a distance. It wasn't audible. So, what happened next? The church door opened, and he made for it right away. I cautiously followed him. Father Frederick was standing in the doorway. It seemed as if he was expecting that person. It was only then I realized it was Sir William, because I was close enough to recognize his voice. He and the father had a long conversation then, and Sir William was waving his hand vigorously about during most of it. They finally went inside, and that is all I saw. Do you know anything more? I never stick my nose in other people's business. Thanks for telling me this. I only told you because you're Sir William's grandson. Now leave me alone. I have to finish my work here. I was William meeting the Father Frederick in the middle of the night. May I have a look inside the church? You have to wait for Father Frederick to return. The church is going to stay locked until then. But you can open it, can't you? It doesn't matter. It's going to stay locked, as Father Frederick ordered. One of the crypts of our family. I don't even know who's buried in it. William will rest in this cold grave forever. I'll find out the whole truth, even if I go through hell for it. May I disturb you? Not for long, I've got a lot of work to do. Has Father Frederick returned yet? No, he hasn't. It's a long journey from Winshire. He won't be back until tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'd like. You'd like to go inside the church, but I already told you about that. Now go. I have to finish this before dusk. It's seven o'clock. 
I should return to the main gate. If Herman is true to his word, his man will be waiting there for me. You must be Dr. Herman's man, is that right? I'm not Herman's man. I just work for him from time to time. You're Samuel Gordon, aren't you? I've got something to deliver. Yes, please give it to me. Yeah, why not? I don't care who you are anyway. I was supposed to give this package to whoever came to this gate at seven. That's when my job is over. Take it so I can go. Hold on a minute. Are you Mark? Yeah, that's me. Why? Harry said you had worked in our garden. A couple of times. So what? I'd like to ask you about William Gordon. What can you tell me about him? Hmm. Nothing. I barely knew him. I just worked in the garden. I'm in a hurry. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. Good. See you around. Bye. I hope I'll find what I'm looking for.